So in this lecture, we will learn how to model the PV shed in the ETAB software. So first of all, we will go to File, New Model. We click on Use Built-in Settings with Units can be Metric SI, Steel Section Database can be Indian, Steel Design Code, let us say IS800, and Concrete Design Code, let us say IS456-2000. Left click on OK. So now we have option here that whether we want to go with uniform grid spacing or simple story data. In this video, we will draw freehand. That is, we want to use story data and grid spacing. We will learn how to draw freehand model in the ETABs. So we will left click on custom grid spacing, left click on edit grid data, delete all the grids. I am selecting all the grids by left clicking and drawing this rectangle. Left click on delete. Again left click on OK. And left click on custom story data. Left click on edit story data. We can select all the stories. Right click, delete story and delete existing structured story. Left click on OK. And then again left click on OK. We can close the model explorer. Just open one window. Go to the plan view, left click on base, left click again on apply and then OK. So now we need a joint. So we uh, for that we need to go to draw, draw joint objects. Here it is showing that plan offset that is X, Y, Z it is zero. So if we snap onto the origin point, we will get an joint at the origin. but you can see here that there is no snapping options. So to activate the snapping options, we need to go to draw and snap options. Here we can left click on lines and frames, edges, fine grids, intersections, left click on apply and then close. So here you can see that now you can snap on to the origin point. So left click on select object right click here so you have drawn a joint on the origin again left click on ok now to avoid this li like here you can see that the cursor is snapping on to each and every point so to switch off this we can go again go to draw snap options left click on find grid and then again left click on apply and close so now you can see that your screen is free so select this joint we can go to the 3D view, go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Vertical is a z-axis. So let us say our the height of PB shed is approximately 5 meters. So enter 5 here. Left click on OK. So now you have drawn a joint here. Let us say the span of the PB shed is 40 meters, but it is supported on the middle. That is, it is supported on the 20 meter distance. So select this joint, go to edit, copy and edit paste. Enter the delta X as 20 and delta Z has to be, let us say the slope of PB shed is usually in the range of 1 is to 10. So 20 meter that is 20,000 divided by 10. So the height of the PB shed has to be 2000 that is 2 meter. Left click on OK. So now you have drawn a joint here. Again, click the base point, go to edit copy and edit paste. Enter delta Z as 0 and delta X as 20. After that, as the span of our PB shed is 40 meter, so we go to edit, copy and edit, paste. We enter the delta X as 40 meter. Then left click on OK. So now we can draw a simple 
no section frame. So we go to draw, draw beam and draw beam column rays. Here we can select the property as none. So here you can see that sometimes it do happens that your cursor will not snap onto some joint. So you can press the scroll wheel on your screen and then move left to right so that it automatically snaps to the joint. So left click here and then again left click here. Left click here, here you can see the distance is 20 meters as expected and left click here again the distance is 20 meter. Draw a column here, right click and then draw a beam from this point to draw a column from this point to this point. Snapping can be done very easily when you are drawing in the grids and elevations and stories. But the main purpose why I am not selecting is that uh, I want you to believe that a structure can be drawn freehand also in the ETAP software. It is not compulsory that you need to draw each and every grid, you need to draw each and every story. So this is like a freehand sketching that we are doing here and after that we will learn how to define the frame sections.